se podrá investigar durante años y que se produzcan grandes descubrimientos. Pero al preguntar qué sabe la ciencia sobre la anatomía del cerebro, a este premio Nobel se le escapa una sonrisa. Santiago Ramón y Cajal sigue siendo la gran referencia, la base de todo. A Bert Zagman le llegó el premio Nobel siendo aún joven y el galardón dice no le cambió la vida, pero sí la forma de investigar. I, you know, this was 1991 and I was relatively young and this is uh, you know, an opportunity to do research completely independent from, from external distractions. So it has changed in the sense that doing science became easier. Fue premio Nobel de Fisiología o Medicina junto a Arwet Neger por sus descubrimientos sobre cómo los iones que llevan la carga eléctrica y son responsables de las propiedades eléctricas de las neuronas podían atravesar la membrana celular. Lo hacen a través de canales iónicos, proteínas. En concreto pudieron medir y visualizar la corriente eléctrica que pasaba por un único canal y desarrollaron la técnica llamada Patch Clamp. La técnica se aplica ahora en todo el mundo para estudiar el funcionamiento de las células en numerosas enfermedades como las neurodegenerativas. Our body is operated by the brain and by the nerve cells and anatomically. But along these structures there are there are traveling electrical signals and the electrical signals are based on the uh, on electricity. That means Ions, these are charged particles passing from outside to inside the cell and vice versa. And for a long time it was not known how these ions would pass through the membrane. And basically one could distinguish a carrier mechanism where ions are sort of transported one by one or a pore mechanism which is popularly speaking a hole in the membrane which transitorily opens and closes and we showed uh, once and forever that most of the electrical signals are based on this pore mechanism. Sobre los procesos que ocurren en el cerebro se basa toda su investigación. Está todo en el cerebro, procesos complejos como el aprendizaje y sentimientos tan dispares como el amor y el odio. You asked about the process of learning that's for for uh, you know, it's absolutely sure even known uh, in which part of the brain learning processes occur. Hate uh, we cannot study in, uh, in, in uh, animal models. Love we also cannot study in animal models, but I, suspo I suspect by extrapolation from other behaviors that purely depend on brain uh, states. Y es que, según Sackman, la falta de modelos animales que reproduzcan fielmente el cerebro humano impide que podamos comprender aún muchos procesos, como el de la emoción, pero también entender el origen de muchas enfermedades neurodegenerativas como el Alzheimer o el Parkinson. Let's say comparable to Parkinson or Alzheimer's, but it's not uh, a one-to-one -one relation. What you what you see in the mouse is not what you, what is happening in the human brain, and you cannot experiment on the human brain. So the answer to this is having even more uh, more refined methods to look into the human brain as it you know as it is working. But right now we can't do that because of the, yeah, the size of the human brain, and you won't uh, find, you know, uh, alterations in the connections between the cells in the living brain, and this we can't. Y tampoco reconoce si ha conseguido una técnica capaz de observar el funcionamiento del cerebro en su conjunto. Well, you can see the brain in vivo at two resolutions. There is Uh, what is called uh, magnetic resonance, which basically depends on um, the blood flow, the oxygenation of the blood flow, which is very, very indirectly 
related to, um, to uh, electrical activity. And then there's a very high uh, resolution, detailed view of uh, electrical activity at the level we need, but this is restricted to rather shallow structures of, let's say, at most one millimeter, uh, because the light is scattered, the light cannot penetrate, so can, cannot penetrate deep into the, uh, let's say, cortex, and therefore these methods uh, are more or less restricted to the very surface of the brain. In, let's say, very reductionist uh, situations, that is, you look at a piece of brain, let's say, in a, in a slice, what is missing is to see these processes in the behaving brain. This is a, a big challenge and uh, unless we can put these individual processes, which we study in vitro, in, uh, into, uh, look at it into the, in the uh, uh, intact brain, uh, there will be always insecurity of how relevant particular processes are. For example, how is memory produced, how is it recalled, memory storage, memory recall, how is a simple behavior initiated, this is all still up in the air. Han pasado 85 años entre estas dos imágenes. Cuando piensa en Cajal, Sackman se acuerda de sus dibujos. His beautiful drawings of different types of neurons and their connections. A él le gustaría antes de jubilarse y que Cajal lo hubiera visto asistir a un gran hito sobre el cerebro. I would be fascinated to have a complete wiring diagram of the entire brain, only of the mouse brain, at electron microscopic resolution, and then study what is happening in the structure of this brain when you are learning something or when you are recognizing an object. This would be my dream.